So you've had this on your arm for about how long? A couple of months. A couple of months. And it looks like it might have bled a few times. Every time I uh, bump up against something. Yeah. You ever seen one of these before? No, uh, no, not this big. Okay, so we don't know exactly what this is, but we're concerned about a precancerous or a, let's say, slow growing skin cancer. Okay. Okay, the kind that generally doesn't go anywhere, just usually stays in this area. Uh, the name for it, it looks like, and we're going to send this to the pathologist so they can, you know, make some uh, sections and look at it under the microscope, okay? Okay. Uh, but it looks like what we call a uh, keratoacanthoma. Keratoacanthoma. Okay. How's that sound? All right. That sounds exciting. Well, uh, you pronounced it, I did. <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do is what's called an excisional biopsy. We're going to do an elliptical incision around this, and then we're going to remove the whole thing and send it off to the pathologist if my glasses will somehow unfog for the moment. Gummy G is going to spray a little cold spray, and you're going to feel a little stick sting and a burn. Are you ready? Yep. Here goes. Okay, Gummy G, thank you. Now we're going to give you some 1% uh, lidocaine with some epinephrine here. Now you're on a daily aspirin every day, right? Yes, I am. And you're on some other uh, heart medicine, so to speak? High blood pressure, yes. Okay. And cholesterol lowering? Yes. Right. And uh, how long have you been taking those medicines? Oh, three or four years. Quite some time, huh? Yeah. Did you have an event? Uh, yes, I had a stent. You had a stent put in. Now, did you have a heart attack before the stent or before you just having some chest pain? I was just having some chest pains. Okay, so we caught it early and you got a stent. Have you mm -hmm. felt great since then? Oh, yeah. Okay, wonderful. So for a while you were on a, a medication uh, to help prevent the clotting of the stent, right? Mm -hmm. So for about uh, six months or so, you would have been on uh, clopidogrel, right? Um, I don't remember. Plavix? Plavix, yes. Okay, that's the brand, right? Good. And so since then, you've remained uh, pain-free, no shortness of breath? No, you're... no. Yeah, okay. great, great. And so that's wonderful. Gummy Jean, I'm going to need, um, I'm going to need some forceps here in a moment. Oh, wow, look at you. She's got the forceps right there. Yeah, so I'm on uh, both of the big parties' mailing lists because I like to see what they're both doing because I find it all really fascinating. Right, so I get text messages uh, from the Republican Party and text messages from the uh, Democrat Party, both. And uh, sometimes I like to have a little fun with them. <laughs> yeah. I admit it. I find this time of year, uh, th this time every few years, to be really interesting. Not so much in the uh, midterms; those don't interest me quite as much. So we're gonna have more bleeding because you're on the aspirin a day, so we'll just uh, deal with that. Okay. So we're using a 15 blade here. We're making the elliptical incision. And the reason we do the elliptical is so we can bring the skin together nicely when we're done. All right. And have good closure, okay? All right. And thank you for letting us uh, video your procedure for our friends on YouTube. No problem. Can be Gina, am I leaning in the way? No, you're good. Good. Looks like a little eye right now, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Okay, now I'm ready for those forceps. So we've got a, a good, good margins on both sides. I'm comfortable we've got everything. So even if this does come back that this is a small skin cancer, I think we've got a real good chance that we will have removed the entire thing. Okay. okay. Gummy Jean, I'm going to need you to uh, sponge here probably because Potato Pat is on an aspirin a day. So some people like to stop the aspirin a day, uh, you know, a few days before they have some kind of procedure. And that can be, actually can be a little bit helpful, but the truth of the matter is, is when you take an aspirin a day for a long term, after, uh, after you've been on it for quite some time, usually a few months, you, you've permanently that's what we call acetylated. You've made changes to the plate, let's go ahead, mm -hmm. uh, that are not reversible. They're irreversible platelet changes. Mm -hmm. And so even if you stop the aspirin a few days before a procedure, it's not going to make a significant difference, a little difference, but not a significant difference in your overall clotting and bleeding propensity. Okay. 
So Gumby Jean, did you want to share your reveal news? Oh no? yes. Well, how did that slip your mind? No, I forgot we hadn't done a video in that long. Well, it's only been a week or so. So I found out through uh, blood work. Through blood work. Uh, the chromosome uh, blood work. Yeah. That I'm having a little boy. A little boy. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I'm so excited. Mama G's very excited, too. You know. Oh, that. yeah. She's ready to start shopping. Well, she wanted to shop for a girl. I'm just telling you. You yeah. know that. Because apparently girl shopping is a lot more fun than it boy is. shopping. It is. Boys are easy. Let's just say they're less challenging. Right. But also challenging. And I got a new vehicle. Okay, so we have the whole item there going in the little specimen jar. Thank you. Okay. All right, thank you. Let's put a little pressure on that. So now we need to bring this together. Okay. Looks kind of big, doesn't it? Gummy yeah. Jean, I'm going to need the small iris scissors. Sorry, my foot's in the way. Yeah, it's okay. Just don't kick me. All right. All right. Let's get a 5 -0 nylon in here. So nothing unexpected with the bleeding. We knew this was going to happen because you are, dead? yeah. Watch, watch the needle, you have a sharp on there. I just don't want you to stab yourself. There you go. Yeah, we knew we'd have some extra bleeding. Feeling anything, bud? I'm fine. Good. Thought we were gonna rough you up pretty good. Yeah, would you go ahead and sponge that for me real quick? Good. Now the first stitch is gonna be just to bring everything kind of in the neighborhood here. Do a little turn that should hold it for just long enough to go ahead and put the put the tie on it. We still good in the picture? Yes. Now sometimes we'll put this first stitch in, but it's because it's going to have so much uh, tension on it, right? Since we bring in everything. Sometimes we'll go ahead at the very end, we'll remove this first stitch and then replace it. So we'll just have to see if we get a little cut, please. All right. Sometimes it looks great, so just have to see. So it'll take a few days to get the pathology report back on that. Okay. And then everybody that's uh, watching will we'll try to update so that we get the, the final pathology on it. It actually looks pretty good right there. So all you'll have to do is just keep this clean and dry, okay? Right. No ointments on it, nothing like that. Thank you. <laughs> and you go. We'll get the best result that way. Did you have a nice weekend, Gummy Jane? I did. Did you do anything interesting this weekend? I got me a new car Friday. Oh, you went car shop. So that area is going to feel just a little tight, just a slight puckering on the edges, but I don't think we need to worry about that. That's going to heal up perfectly. Okay. Uh, you stayed very still, so thank you for doing that. And as soon as we get the pathology results back, we will let you know, okay? Okay. Good. I'm happy with that, Gummy Jane. You like that? Or should, yeah. Think I should do anything more of that? I don't think so. I think it looks real good. She's going to put a dressing on that for you. It can get wet. Just don't scrub across the stitches, okay? All right. All right, Potato Pat, thanks for letting us uh, video your procedure. Okay, good deal. Now, I'm sure, I'm sure that's going to hurt tonight. No, no, no. Really? No, well, well, you don't want to take any Advil or Lead because you're on aspirin, right? Uh -huh. So if you, have, if you do feel a little discomfort, you can take a Tylenol or two. That'd be fine with your other medicines. Mm -hmm. But, uh, no, I'd stay away from the NSAIDs. Okay. All okay. Right. Thanks, Ben. Okay, good. All right. All right. Okay, so you've been taking Cocoa Skin. Been taking Cocoa Skin and uh, Meta 7 Wonderful. for probably a year and a half now. Okay. 
Love them both. I highly recommend them. My skin is great. I feel moisturized. I, I'm, they're wonderful. Take your hat off for me. Oh. I want everybody to see how pretty your skin is. My hair's oily. Oh, your hair is wonderful. So, have you noticed that you've lost some crow's feet or anything like that in particular? Or a little bit, a little yeah, bit? a little bit. Okay, all right. Because you do look like I mean, you you're glowing almost. You have a real natural look about you. So, well, wonderful. I'm glad you're liking the cocoa skin and the Meta Seven. Take them both. Highly mm. recommend it. Thanks. <laughs> Make sure to check out Cocoa Skin Plus for thicker nails, healthier skin, and better hair. And check out Meta7 for more energy throughout the day. There are Amazon links in the description below. Do you love Dr. Gilmore's cyst bursting, pimple popping, and infection draining videos? Want to see the extended procedures with never before seen footage, early releases, and no ads? Then support us on Patreon for dozens of HD ad-free videos. And don't worry, you can still watch on YouTube for free. But if you want the premium content with no ads, become a patron on Patreon. There's a link in the description. Hey folks, are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stack up on Meta7. Meta7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, according to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system. So if you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and could use a nice boost, then try Meta7 today. Meta7, I've got more energy uh, I feel good. I don't have any aches and pains like I usually have. And I notice just more energy with them. Since I spend more energy and more energetic, mm -hmm. I sleep better. So it's been a pretty good product for me. Notice a huge, tremendous energy boost. The four hours were really sluggish. I didn't want to do anything, even my work. It showed it, but now since I've been on it, my work is getting completed. Check out the Amazon links in the description below. And you can order today with Amazon Prime. Also, check out Dr. Gilmore's 7-piece kit, available on Amazon for under $20. It's got a leather case, and it's compact in size, good for traveling. See link below.